Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll be fitting the Interlagos to the Mark IV. I'm about to have my fenders rolled because that is something I'm concerned about. So I'm just going to drop off two wheels, the two wheels that I've got with me at the moment, and then I'll fit those while the fenders are getting done so then I can just make sure that it does clear and all's good so let's get to it so I went to the wheel and tire place and they just closed so I was like ah oh, that's a, a bummer and then I went to Q Beams got there and he moved so a minor detail he forgot to share with me so I'm going to the new spot now it's in Pardon Island luckily it's not too far away it's only like seven minutes so I'm on my way there now and yeah so the wheel thing I'll I'll have to do that on another another time but yeah so let's just get the fenders rolled and I will sort out the rest later so we are finally getting to it. Quentin just needs to heat it up and slowly but surely starting to just roll it out. This is like a slight angle. So we just finished up I'm on my way back home now so Quinton didn't want to get too crazy with the fenders he was concerned about cracking there was already one small crack um, like on the back side I'll show you guys but yeah so we rather took it conservative I'm going to test and see what what a 205 looks like that guy is in Ari. Um, what the 205 looks like, it might, it might be a dub a dub dub, and then I'll potentially run the 35 on it, which I really don't want to do. So I will mess around with that tomorrow and get that sorted out. Okay, so it's it's actually the same day. I couldn't wait till tomorrow to actually do this, so I'm going to fit them now. I just put the adapters on, tighten them up. I'm a little nervous, I won't lie, because I was planning on shaving down the adapters just to give me a little more wiggle room. But I just decided I'm just gonna throw them on and YOLO it. So that's why I had the fenders at all, just for that extra little peace of mind. But you can see, you know, you can't see much. Um, they have been Massaged enough, but hopefully it's enough. Oh, guys, I was I was having a good day until now. So this is what happened when the guys tried to take the tire off. It just pulled the paint off it. I was concerned about it. So it seems like the previous owner, not the guy that I bought it from, but the one that had it before, he just had the wheels painted. He had the wheels painted with the tires on it yeah. and when they tried to remove it he didn't do the greatest job and like it's it's smooth there was there's no primer no nothing it, they just painted directly on it and just my luck so now i have to have these wheels redone which i wasn't planning on doing that's the reason i bought them because they were refinished Flip. And this one I just I asked him to stop. You can see where it already came off. So I asked him to stop for that one just because 
it was just going to happen anyway. So, is is what it is, guys. We are on our way to the workshop. Matt just wants to check out a noise on his car. The things I planned for this weekend didn't work out like this was supposed to be about fitting the wheels to the wagon, but that didn't happen. So you just have to, to adapt. I was supposed to go drop off the wheels by Riyadh at the International Rimri Bay, but things didn't quite work out for that either. Anyway, um, yeah, on the way, I'm going to fetch the Mark II and then go to the workshop. Matt's probably going to go straight. So I'm with Matt in the Fox now. We're just going to check is the noise he said it's coming from the front left. So let's see if we can hear it, other than hearing the throttles. So we're going to go right here. Do you hear that? Is that like it's like a rumbling? Kind of. I'm just gonna put foot a bit and then just put it to neutral. So yeah. Can... Oh, that sound. Oh, yeah, I can hear it. I can feel it. And that goes right through the car. Yeah. I can almost feel it on my pedals. Yeah. Right now. Oh, that's hectic, actually. Um, I think I need to melt this cylinder as well. I don't know if that's wheel bearing or what, but where can we do a little pull? Uh, you can go left, yeah, I guess. Does that pop off there? No, he's going to the. To the department. <laughs> Flip to this thing is savage. <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting this thing is actually very quick. But you see what I mean about it? Holy crap. No traction. I was... No, <laughs> this thing is awesome. Yeah, my 16 valve never felt like that. If I had, uh, if I had wider tires on these wheels, because they're super light, I think this thing would hook up with this car. This is gonna, this is gonna do well at Kilani. Just, just go straight. I just don't want to push it too much after that because of the knocking. Yeah. But it pulls nicely, eh? Is that a good it. <laughs> nah, it, 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 it's very responsive. Guys, the 16 valve makes 150 at at performance, or what? Yeah. What is it? At yeah. dynamics. At yeah, at dynamics. Moment. And what torque? Uh, 222. That feels really good. Yeah, no, I was I was seriously surprised. So you changed the wheels. I don't know if you. Saw this car at the last bag meet that had the 
the Evos on it. He really likes the styles on it. I'm not a big fan. But the 15s, I think it is better. And yeah, we have the Mark II looking really sad with no bumpers on it. My bumpers are nearly done though, so. <laughs> Looks so funny. <laughs> Look at my indicators, they're like hiding away. So guys, I'm in Azaz's car. I'm taking Matt for spinning it. And it's been a while since I've driven this car, so I'm, I'm quite excited to feel it again, especially after I've driven the Mark II quite a bit. This thing scared me the first time. But that was like before I was used to like that big turbo life. So let's see if it still does. I'm not too sure about the power. The last time it was on the dyno it made around 280. So it's probably around there. found out what the what that noise and vibration was it was a wheel bearing so Matt replaced the wheel bearing on the passenger side not too long ago and now driver side is gone at least he knows what it is so he can get that sorted out but yeah flip I've never felt the wheel bearing feel like that really weird Jamil's gonna put his car on the dyno now so he put some of today's fuel in the in the tank I don't know what the before is maybe I'll be able to see that so he's gonna do a before and after and just check if it actually makes a difference
So this is pump fuel on low boost, which is like 1.4 bar. So around 200 kilowatts, not bad, it's a hybrid. That's, that's quite a bit of difference. That's like, what's that, like 18, 18, 19 kilowatts? That's, that's impressive. So that's the before and after. So I think Jamil's going to add water meth now and see what it does. So this is Jamil's map 2 and map 3, so 1.7 bar on the right and 1.9 bar on the left. So even though it's with water meth, it doesn't add much more power because the octane is already in, the, in that can that he added. So the octane was already higher. And apparently the water meth really helps on a hot day. It's, it's very cool today. So it doesn't make that much of a difference. Very interesting, especially because I'm planning to go water meth soon. I need to manage expectations. Andrew and I just went over the logs. So <laughs> it's quite sad. So that last run that I did in the previous video, please go watch it if you haven't already. That was actually at full boost, the way the car is set on pump now. And it is so slow. So. Jamil just pulled a whole lot of boost out of it on top. So the car's just, yeah, it, it's, it's sad. Really sad. So I'm going to do water myth a lot sooner. Like, like I'm going to book it in soon. Um, because this is no fun. The car just doesn't feel like it did before. It's safer, but it, it's too slow, so with the water meth, give me more octane, more cooling and hopefully I'll be happy with that or I might just run the car on eth all, all the time everything I had planned for today didn't, didn't work out like I wanted it to but I guess that's how it goes sometimes I just gotta just need to roll with it I had, a, I had fun today Going for driving that 16 valve was just, oh man, I want another 16 valve so badly. So we'll see how it goes over the next few months, start planning towards it. My dad is quite keen, so I think it's something that needs to happen. And then driving Azos Polo again was just, made me just want more power. So yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, a, it was a good one. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one.